What's up guys, Court Order here. This week's video, oh my goodness. Let me give you a little background. I work my channel where I record videos all the time, me and Doug and whoever can join us, hopefully Paul, Joe, Charlie, Rich, you've seen all the guys. And by the time I air it, they're usually about three weeks in advance. I try to stay ahead of the game, that way I have new stuff come out every week because you never know if we're gonna get a snowstorm or if the spot's no good, a guy gets sick, whatever, I try to stay ahead. Very rarely do I push a video right to the front of the line, but that's what I'm gonna do this week. Literally less than 36 hours ago, we were doing this old farmhouse and we were finding the typical good stuff that we always find. But then one guy found something so amazing, literally our biggest bucket list coin that there even is. It was an absolutely incredible day. So this video gets bumped right to the front of the line. Way do you see it. Me, Dog Tag Doug, Mexican Doug, Jane Fond Doug, Rich Van Winkle, and our new friend Matt, who you didn't even see yet because I introduced him in an earlier video that hasn't even aired. But what an incredible day. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you at the end. Later. All right, we are only about, what, Doug, five feet from the cars. I was yeah. getting my boots on, and Rich, Rich, who doesn't get excited very often, was yelling like, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. So I'm like, whoa, what's going on? So let me see, he got something that really got everybody super stoked. It's right here. I can't tell what it is yet. Um, the, uh, the, oh, wait, is that a, a cufflink? Yep. Yes. Oh, it is so tiny. The time period. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a navy anchor on there. Right. I found one before at my parents. That is a uh, revolutionary naval officer's cufflink. And it might have the shank. It, it definitely does. I can yeah. see it. You want to brush it off and we'll come back and get a good image of it. I got to get my camera away from the sun. That's encouraging. All right, there's Rich's cufflink. And Rich is very, very confident. that What was the date range on it? 1770s and 80s. Was it gilt at one time, Rich? Uh, the only pictures I found, they look just like that, because I think the other yeah, people probably them not then. Yeah. Well, that is a great piece, man. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. Beautiful. All right, Matt's on the board with something good. I don't even know what it is yet. He just called me over. Is it, did you see it, Rich? It looks good. Does it look good? It does. Let me see. What number were you getting, Matt? That was uh, a high tone, 24, 25. All right. In the hole? Out of the hole? In the hole. Oh, you got a coin or a big button. Oh, that's thin. That's a thin one. I don't want to rub on your coin, so let's clean it up and see what it is. I think it might be like a King George. It looks thin. Let's uh, clean it up, and we're going to come back and check it out. That's going to be a nice one, Matt. All right, there's Matt's coin. Brushed down everything, and if I rotate it just about there, Doug... You can see it perfect right there. Yes. It's, a, it's a drape bust, large scent. Facing your thumb. Facing my thumb. Which would be Matt's oldest U.S. coin ever. Is that right, Matt? Yep. If it's not, we're going to say it is because it sounds <laughs> yeah. good, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> and if you flip it over, you can kind of see one Just scent. Just barely yep. make it out. See some, the wreath, yep, you can see some yeah. of the wreath, some of the bow. It would say one over 100 down at the bottom. It looks thin to me for... A drape bust, but it is war. Is war. Yeah, absolutely. And as the wind hits it, it just gets better and better. You know, it kind of dries off the low parts and really brings us uh, the high relief part out. That's an amazing coin, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Nice 220 nice. years old or so. Right, Way you. to go. Right, cool. Awesome. Yeah, you're right in my line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get out of Paul's I Doug's line. <laughs> All right, Rich is on something else. We're actually walking towards the farmhouse, but there's old fields here. And Rich, being young, in shape, digs way more holes than the rest of us. And he usually gets rewarded. And he got himself something else cool. Let me see. Oh, yeah, Rich. That's a flat button. That's a beautiful flat button, too, with a shank on it. That had to hit pretty good on your machine, too. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like a 72. Yeah, I, any of us would have dug that if we swung over it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a... Wow, is that a Tomback? I think so, yeah. Man, that's two colonial finds right off the yeah. bat. The house we're going to, I think, was built in the 1820s. 
So you're finding things that are already 50, 60 years older than the house. Yeah, this could this could also the style could be a, one of those Hessian flat buttons. That's a, got a absolutely gorgeous complete shank. Well, you can see the spun up tom back there. So you know Rich is digging those low signals to be able to get some of these kind of things. I love buttons. No, I'm with you, man. I love buttons too. Usually tom backs will be flat on the front, no no, no marking or anything, but. And that's how this one is but it's absolutely gorgeous the condition of it this is probably a little bigger than a dime and it's in just perfect condition man that is beautiful that's a great find man congratulations Thank beautiful you. all right sorry for the sun glare but you can see that nice solid 11 12 sometimes hitting 13 so i can rotate and get it out of the sun right there where well, this could be a nickel and where we are there's not a lot of trash so if you get a signal it's usually going to be something decent it's only about maybe three or four inches let me uh, dig this out of the ground all right i cut the plug over i wasn't sure if it was in the tailings or in the hole but it was still in the hole you can see it's still a nice solid 12 and when i dug down i did see it I put it right here. I got to look at it for a second and dropped it back down to get the camera out. I can see right there. Yeah, it's a V nickel, Doug. Yeah. I thought it might be a nickel. I had a little bit of a hunch on it. I was hoping it was going to be a buffalo nickel. So let me give you it a did good. Even better. No, I'm going to brush it down and see if I can get a date off this sucker. Hang on. Yeah, I think you will. Nice. There's the V. Yeah, we tried to clean it up. It's, it's going to clean up somewhat. Nickels are tough to clean, Doug. Even yeah. when I get home and clean it, it ain't going to look great. But that's the uh, the back, the Roman numeral V. I tried my hardest to get a date off of it. But there's Lady Liberty. She looks good. Whoa, if I could hold her still. These are rambunctious. Yeah, and I think, I forget what years they started these. Like 1880s and uh, I think up to 1912. I think 1889 maybe? All right, you might be right. All right, that's a good coin, though. It's a nice old one for me. We're still yeah. working towards the farmhouse, which was the ultimate goal, but we're doing pretty good out here in the fields. Yep. Horseshoe? Well, I just got a horseshoe as I pulled my V-nickel out. I'm going to get the banana in the hole because we've got all day, and we're working towards an old 1800 farmhouse. So hopefully around the house, we're going to do well. So it should be a pretty terrific day. But for now, we're going to march up here. Another hour, we're going to knock on the door because uh, we got permission, but they're still sleeping. So banana in the hole, see how we make it out. All right, Rich is on the board with yet another button. Did it look complete, Rich? It does. It's bent over, I think. But it's right here. It's smaller than a dime. Oh, wow. That is but super tiny. I saw a shankage. That's smaller than a half dime. Look at that. That's incredible. That's a little tiny cuff button. I think I see writing on the back. I think I do, too. <gasps> oh, uh -oh, wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Is that military? Wow, yes. It is. Yes. This was this was really old military too. We found one called Doug Over. Look at yours is different though. Yours is like almost like a rope going around the outside with that star in the middle. I think it was not only a military but an officer's button. And this might even be uh, foreign. Like when the French came over to help oh. us during the war. I forget what it was. Well, you know I love to research. Let's clean this up a little bit. We'll give it a little brushing. Man, that is a beautiful one. Congratulations. Thank you. Another cuff button, huh? Wow. All right, as the wind hits it, it's starting to dry, and it looks even better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely military. We think Rev War. And I love the pattern around the outside. It looks like a like a twisted rope. A rope or chain links, maybe? Yeah, the one we found was a solid band around there, but it did have the star in the middle. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this button in the Alberts book. I just don't have them all memorized. You know, there's hundreds of thousands. I know, don't. I, I'm yeah. working on it. I'm working on it. Spend I, the rest of the day memorizing. I barely remember the alphabet. <laughs> and this side, there is something around the outside, whether it's writing or stars or something. Rich will clean it up later, you know, slowly and carefully. But that is another amazing peach. Rich gets the smallest, tiniest things. Doug had a good nickname, Red Buttons, because, <laughs> because he does. Well, he gets he's the, got a little bit of a red in his He beard. gets the smallest little things, and they're always amazing. <laughs> Way to go, man. Congratulations. Thank you. 
All right, we thought it was morning enough. Matt and I drove around. We knocked on the door, let them know we're here. So now we're gonna get a little closer to the house and hopefully find some great treasures. Doug and Rich are working their way in. And I think Matt's son's gonna show up later too. Hopefully he'll hang with us, see what treasures we can find. So uh, let's gear up, Matt, and get to it. All right. Solid 1920 with an abrupt stop right there. And it's small. It's deep. All right, let me dig this up and hope for the best. All right, I dug my 19 out. Doug and Rich finally came over. I'm going to show Rich because this is something that Rich has wanted and so far has eluded him. I will give you a, 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 a hint that it is not complete. And I'm looking at it, but it's it's busted. If you put your hand in the hole, Rich, you'll feel it. Yeah, I just said it's a Doug, too. Yep. It is Doug. Oh, really? I think it's a... Look yep, at that. It is. Look at that, dude. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at that. It's got the pedals on there, too. Ooh. That's now, this is that's only good. about this is only about maybe a, a third of it. Yeah. But Rich hasn't gotten one yet. It's, it might be one of his biggest bucket listers. And coincidentally, Doug and Rich went out a couple days ago at one of Rich's permissions, and Doug got two crotal bells and Rich got none. So guilty. Please have been 20 times. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen Rich get mad, but well, he's not mad. Well, that's it. You know, it makes him desire the bell even more. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this one was busted, but I knew Rich would really appreciate it. And I'll even clean it up and put it in the case. Oh lose it again. Oh, well, I got a metal detector with me. Uh, oh, the dirt fell out. Yeah. But no, that's a nice one. I love all the pedals on there. Hey, that just means, you know what, Rich? They're here. They're here. So let, uh, or they were. They were, but hopefully they drop more. All right, Rich has something. We're in the back. It's a little trashy in the back. I think they used to burn trash back here. So there's some, I got some coal and miscellaneous things. I didn't clean but it Rich... all the way, but the, oh, yes. the jewelry. Oh, yeah. Ben. yeah. You think it might be a pin or you think it might be a charm of some kind? Charm or brooch or pin. Yeah, yeah I can see up there. Maybe it hung from that little loop. It's ornate. I'm thinking maybe, you think like late Victorian period, something like that? Yeah. Late 18s, early 19s. That's a nice piece though, Rich. Yeah. I love fancy stuff. Even costume. It's cool if it's, you know, period costume. Mm -hmm. That's a cool piece, man. Nice job. Doug's okay. digging a hole over there. Yeah. Matt's behind me digging a hole. So who knows what treasures we'll find, you know, in the backyard. Nice job, Rich. Thank you. All right, so that hole Doug was digging might have been something good. He sounded excited. It, it was ringing consistent every direction. 33, 35, 37. Well, that's not consistent. Well, I mean, <laughs> a consistent inconsistent. The word consistent. With, no, I can. It's big around. Ooh. And it's got. I was hoping it was a dollar, but it's probably. Wow, not. what is that? I have no idea. Oh, but, Doug, don't even rub it with your finger. Ooh. Don't even rub yeah, it with your finger, Doug. Maybe it is. Yeah. Don't, don't even rub it. It's a piece. Is it a piece dollar? Oh that does my. look like a sunburst, doesn't it? It does, but not a peace dollar sunburst. Here, use this softer. No, no, no. We got spray. Yeah, we got to spray this just like this. Oh, my goodness, Doug. What is that? Go ahead. Spray right in my hand. Oh, wait a minute. Rich, are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is a, he's a bad sprayer. It takes some skill, Rich, to spray things. Of which I have none. It's windy, too. That is amazing. That sunburst, Doug. It's cold. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. It says Liberty inside. There's like, uh, I don't know what that image is in the middle of the sun, but it, it says looks, Liberty. Right, oh, I see a date. I see a date too. You do? Wow. 1826? Yep. Doug, what the heck do you have here? <laughs> Doug, what the heck is this thing? I don't know. You're old. It says 1826, yeah, Rich. That's what I see. And, it, it's and guess what? I kept calling you over to. to oh, it's a wreath. Oh, a wreath. my God, Doug. I'm gonna have a heart attack, Doug. Keep spraying it. I'm too nervous. Right there. <laughs> Where? There's right. a giant eagle on it. Oh my, God. oh my, what is this? I see, I see letters at the I've top. Never, I've never seen this before, Doug. If you could spray it a little faster, that would I, be. Here, Rich, you don't. <laughs> I'm shaking. It's like a circus. What the heck is that? Mexico, I see Mexico. 
Oh, oh this my goodness. Republic of Mexico. This might be like an eight real, Doug. I see where the R right there. It's either going to be a four or an eight. It's, it's an eight there. real. I see it right there. It's an eight real. <laughs> We've never gotten one before. We've only oh. gotten halves, ones, twos. Oh my, I've never seen one before. That is absolutely amazing. Look at that. 1826, oh. the 8R right there. I think it says Libertad, which is what Mexican coins would have on there, not Liberty. Well, it's that's old. Spanish, you know. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Doug. Let's, it was screaming. Let's give this a really good cleanup, and we're going to come back. That is absolutely incredible. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. Hang on a second. And you didn't want to live dig it. Well, we're, we're in the but, dumpy area, so... But, but yeah, and, and you're right. And I got right in the middle of a route, and I was... Oh, uh, we're taking I, forever? I thought it, this would take forever. Let's give this a cleanup. Hang on a second. Wow. All right, there's Doug's coin. We kind of cleaned it up. Doug, it might be one of the greatest coins I've ever seen, only because we've greatest never... Greatest coin I've ever found. We've never found one. Uh, it's an 8 real. You can see the 8R over there. The date at the bottom, 1826. To the left of the date, the M with the circle of it. Means Mexico it's City. Mexico City. And then these other numbers over here, I believe, are like uh, uh, maybe like the mint marks. Mintage. And I don't know if that is the weight, the 220 GS. Like I said, yeah, I've never found be. one. It could be. This is a cap that says Libertad with the sunburst around it, and it's hold so that they wouldn't lose it, and you can huh. see, how, see how effective that was. <laughs> and it is massive. It's the size of a Morgan dollar, maybe bigger. Maybe bigger. Maybe bigger. It flips sideways. This side has an eagle with the snake in his mouth. It says Republic Mexicana at the top. With the wreath around yep, the, the wreath. bottom part. And when I looked it up online just now, it said the eagle is perched on a cactus. Oh, I can see the cactus. You see the, oh, see the yeah, big yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. It said eagle on cactus with eating snake. And uh, Doug, that is absolutely... We've never found an 8 real no, ever. No. We've and only found... This is not where I would have expected Me to neither. Find it. Me neither. This coin predates the house. But you know what? You just never know sometimes. Doug, you're the, you're my hero. Well, thank you. You are my hero. Thank you. Did you, you ever the know order? that but you're... There it is. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely amazing. Doug, you're, you're the man. Congratulations. Today. Today. Well, every day. Or, or for now. Today, you're the man Ten with the coin. Ten minutes from now, it could be any one of us. Great job. Thank you. All right, Doug, I just got a good find that might just rival your Spanish 8 real. Oh. <laughs> it's a chicken cookie cutter. <laughs> hey, that, that goes with the uh, llama. Yeah, yeah, you found a cookie found cutter the... in someone else's yard. <laughs> I still can't. I'm, I'm over there, Doug, still in my head thinking, I can't believe he just got an 8 real. It's... I, I don't either. I don't either. But uh, compare that to my 8 real. Uh -huh. I think you've got clucked. <laughs> Your 8 real is twice as big, too. All right, Matt's got something. We're going to go take a look. Doug, uh, uh, Rich yelled out buffalo nickel from the field out there. Ooh. Is that is that a letter? It is a letter. It looks like a monogram letter, I think. You know what? I think it's a clip-on. It's a clip-on. Maybe an earring. An earring? I think it might one be a clip-on here. But could that be? You think that could be silver, though, Doug? How, how high did it ring? Uh, it was ringing in the low 20s. Why don't we spray it and take a look at it? That yeah, might low, be. In, low to mid-20s. Yeah, there's an image or something on there. That could be a sterling yeah, clip-on. one of those clip -on. Let's giants. let's spray it down, Matt. What the heck? I gotta go back to my car and get more water. I wasted it all <laughs> on some big giant pizza-sized coin that somebody found. All right, there's Matt's earring, and I don't know, Doug. I think it could possibly be silver. I don't see a marking on it. It's really nicely ornate. Yep. There's a flower in there. I'm trying to get in there. There's like little line grooves. The sun's not really letting me capture well, it. Well, when you turn it, you you can start seeing yeah. the uh, different parts of the uh, yeah there's leaves all over plant. it and vines and plants and all sorts of stuff the back you know we think it's going to be a clip-on earring but even the back of it is nice with those like wavy groove lines going around yep. i don't see any markings on it and matt wants to wear it so we're going to try to <laughs> <laughs> 
But no, it's a beautiful one. It is. It's a beautiful one. I would wear it if yeah. I found and it. And it could possibly be sterling too, Matt. But even if it's not, that's a great uh, display piece. I mean, yes. you know, it's really nice. So, hey, well done. Great find. Thanks. And it was scratchy in the yard. You never know. Yeah, it looks good on you. It matches your eyes. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, still doing the yard here and got some interesting relics. Of course, Dogs 8 Real, which stole the show for the day. And this one sounds decent. This could be maybe a wheat penny or an interesting relic, who knows. I figure we'll do a live one and maybe get lucky. a wheat penny <laughs> it's hard when when one guy finds an eight real it's hard to get as excited over the wheat pennies they're still awesome just that man it's just so exciting when someone pulls a coin like that I don't have my glasses on I don't know what year it is but a little live dig on a wheat not too deep maybe four or five inches at the most but uh, there's really good stuff around this yard. I'm looking for something maybe 100 years older. And uh, it's definitely around here. Proof's in the pudding. Let's keep going. Wow, you can actually still see the reading on, <laughs> yeah. on the edge. It's been, it's probably been an hour, hour and a half. And it still hasn't sunk in. <laughs> it hasn't sunk in yet. I mean, it's probably been, I don't ever say what our bucket listers are, Doug, because you don't want to jinx yourself. No. Nah. Probably our biggest bucket lister, which I didn't think we'd ever find. An eight real is almost impossible to find. And I'm walking around detecting. I'm finding good stuff, wheat pennies and relics. But I'm just thinking about, oh my goodness, that eight real. The only sad thing is, I, as weird as this sounds, I wish Paul was here. Yeah. Because he's never found one either. He would have loved to have seen it. But, oh my goodness. It I, feels I like it's it. getting heavier. I just can't believe it. I mean, what an incredible coin. Yeah. Just to say that, man, we got... This, you see, I include myself in yeah. we. That's <laughs> our, hey, we're a team. That's but it's how amazing. It works. It's hold. It's been to the gym for 200 years with that toning. Just amazing. And the you remember how excited I was when I got my first and only two real? This is four times better. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. You know, you guys got to do the hobby to realize how incredible to see something like this. And how exciting it is to find something yeah, like this. Yeah, pop out of the ground. but Yeah, man. And check that out oh a little hummingbird a hummingbird nest. nest yeah do you think my coin would fit in it there? probably would have keep it protected oh. too look at that hatch it into uh, <laughs> like a whole a whole bunch of them yeah <laughs> well amazing doug uh even the hummingbird pretty nest. exciting what a yeah. day all right let me go find some more stuff doggy diamond yeah rich has something good he's under the uh the clothesline now i don't know if the clothesline's been there for 200 years or not but let me see oh i love those doug cool. I oh, love yeah. those. He's got a whole one. Yeah. All right. Let's see. And it's complete. That's what I uh, started shaving with. It's an old safety razor. Yep. And the handle turns the ha and it opens the top. And on the base of this part, Rich, we'll say who makes it. The Gillette ones are very collectible, believe it yep. or not, Doug. Yep. I didn't realize it until I started looking up some of my old razors. The bottom part right below that line should twist. And that's what opens if it yeah is there a right. blade in there can you tell it might be a blade in there and that it would definitely be on the blade yeah you can be the blade runner <laughs> that's a great find i love the old safety razors and a lot of times we find just the busted tops or just the handle yeah. so to find a complete one i think it's a super cool uh, artifact this is probably 100 years old i kept finding nail after nail in this hole and there was still a high tone in there yeah well, that's a nice one, man. Congratulations. I love it. Thanks. Cool old relic. Yeah, first one of these I've found. All right, we're getting ready to leave. There's supposed to be a snowstorm rolling in, and those clouds look ominous. It, it's snowing a bit right now. Yeah, it's supposed to start squalling. But, yeah. But on the walk in, Doug, swinging the hot hand today, got this piece. Don't know what it is. I don't know what it is either, but I know it says Sterling, Sterling on it. RV Maker Sterling, and it's a big... It looks like a uh, uh, thimble, but for the thumb, a thumble. A thumble? It could be. Yeah. 
I don't know. But another piece of sterling. What an incredible day. I mean, even though, Matt, we know who stole the show today, right? Yeah. We were just here supporting Mr. Eight Real. Somebody had to bow down, didn't we? Nice piece of silver. <laughs> Doug, absolutely amazing. Thanks for... I mean, I couldn't be happier and, for you. And Matt, this is Matt's permission. This is Matt's permission, so you know Matt is super happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rich is still digging buttons out well, there. yeah, yeah. But an incredible day, an amazing 8 Real. And of course, Doug, if you guys want to find incredible things in your area, shoot me an email, quarterhoarder, yahoo.com. Let me know where you live, what your budget is, what kind of terrain you're going to swing on. We'll recommend the best machines for your budget so you can get out and find some incredible things like Doug does. Every now and then. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you're going to love it because it's the hobby of champions. You know it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting. See you on the next one. Later.